All right, so we are gonna make some DIY bug spray today. So I wanna tell you what I have on hand so that you can go grab this or you can, you can write it down. I'm gonna show the recipe too, but just wanted to share what I'm gonna put in this. So in case you wanted to go and grab this and make it for yourself. So the oils that we're gonna be using today are Purify. Um, Purify, I'll, I'll kind of tell you a little bit about why each of these are in this recipe, but Purify is excellent for bug bites, actually. Um, if you get a bug bite, hopefully this will help you from getting uh, a lot of bug bites, but this will actually help to take the burn and the sting away from bug bites, and so it's also a great repellent as well. Um, Terra Shield is actually the outdoor blend, so you could just use this one oil and make your own bug spray, but these other oils are really great for various reasons, um, but Tear Shield is kind of the main component of this, so that's going to be in here. Lemongrass is excellent bug repellent um, as well, and so that's going to be in here. Cedarwood, again, has bug repellent properties. It can actually be used on um, like bed bugs, and it's been um, studied in a lot of different things like that as well, so it's a really good bug repellent. And then this is a newer oil. It was actually released last year at convention, um, lemon eucalyptus. So this by itself, again, will be a really great bug repellent. So you can use, you know, you can use what you have, but this is a really great recipe to use. So lemon eucalyptus is going to be in here. So the liquid base that we're gonna use is a mixture of witch hazel and vinegar. And so here we go, we're gonna make this recipe. Now I did wanna share with you what I'm gonna put it in. And um, this is just to give you some ideas as far as different um, places you can get containers to put this in. Um, but this is what I found works best. Now you've seen probably this before because I, I use this in my for, to, to put my spray everything spray in. Um, the, the one that has the On Guard in it that's really great um, to clean your surfaces and things. So this is the Fine Mister Spray. And this one is from doTERRA. They're currently sold out, unfortunately, but hopefully they're going to get some back in soon. Um, I like this sprayer because it has a very fine mist. And so, you know, some bug sprays, it, you know, you kind of spray them and they just, they leave like blotches of, of um, bug spray on you. This one is very fine. And so I just love to spray it up and down my arms and legs. And it really gets it all over my skin in a very um, even fashion. So you can purchase these those on Amazon. If you were to um, type in continuous sprayer, um, they'll come up. And so a lot of hairdressers use these, um, you know, when they spritz your hair with water. I know mine does anyway. So you can find these other places, but this is really the best, the best thing to do. Thank you, sweetie. The best, best container to get, in my opinion. Now you can use really any container that you have that is, has a spray head on it. Um, that's relatively small. This one's kind of bigger, so I'm actually gonna end up making two batches to put in this one. But if you had a smaller one, this I feel like would fit in there. Um, anything that has a spray head is gonna work. Um, glass is really good. Th this is actually plastic, but it's a higher grade plastic. So if you wanna look for a plastic one, look to see if it has a one or a two on the bottom of it, and that means that it's higher grade plastic. So if you were to look for a plastic container, that's really good. I've also found some stainless steel, like aluminum, spray bottles at um, the dollar store at Dollar Tree, which obviously are a dollar. So I picked up some of those. They don't, I mean, obviously they're not great, great quality. So I think, I think a couple might have torn up, but hey, they're only a dollar. So that's a really great place to look. So let's make this recipe. Okay, so we're going to put our oils in first and then we'll put in the liquid base after that. So I'm gonna put in 20 drops of the cedar wood. And cedar wood is a little bit slow, so what you're going to want to do is just obviously hold the, the bottle over whatever container. It's really easy to put the oils in um, because it's a larger mouth on the bottle. Some of those things, you kind of have to make sure that you wring it really well. But um, might have to finish this afterwards because that one's really slow. Okay, 20 drops of cedar wood, 10 drops of lemongrass. And by the way, this smells really good. I was just spraying it on last night and my daughter was like, what is that smell? That smells really good. And I was like, it's the bug spray. And she's like, oh yeah, I remember that smelled good. Um, so this smells really good, which is a bonus. Um, 25 drops of Purify. I'm gonna put this recipe up, so don't feel like you have to write this down. But I just wanted to, um, to, to share it with you while I'm making it. So, we have next 25 drops of Terra Shield. And while this is being slow to come out, I just wanna um, 
just remind you how important it is to think about the things that we're putting on our skin. Bug spray is actually one of the more toxic things that we can put on our skin. Um, and, you know, there's been a lot of different studies to say that, you know, DEET that, that, that is in most commercial bug sprays is not good for our health. And I think sometimes we feel like we don't really have another option that's effective. But I just want to tell you, I mean, I personally, I can only, you know, share my personal experience with you. This is very effective. Um, I do have to, obviously you have to keep applying bug spray if you're going to be outside for a long time. And this is no different than that. But it is very, very effective and it's completely non-toxic. I mean, all I'm putting in here is pure essential oils, witch hazel and vinegar. So it just, it, it makes me feel really good about putting it on my skin. I don't have any reservations about it. It makes me feel good about putting it on my daughter and my son. Um, so, and it's very easy to make as you can see. Okay, so lastly, we're gonna put 10 drops of lemon eucalyptus. Okay, so that is the oils that we have. Those are the oils. Okay, just a second, I'm almost done. So next we're gonna put the witch hazel. And witch hazel was pretty easy to find. I think I got this at Dollar General. Um, but it makes a really good base. It kind of helps suspend the essential oils in the solution. So we're gonna put four ounces of witch hazel. And shocker, I'm actually measuring this. Can you, can you believe that? Um, I just put in a little measuring cup. It makes it easier to pour in here. So we have four ounces of witch hazel and then two ounces of vinegar. And do you like my large vinegar container here? I use this in my laundry room, so I went and got it out of there. Okay, so two ounces of vinegar. And that is it. And so, you're gonna wanna put the top on. And then you're just gonna wanna shake it up. Every single time before you use it, you'll shake it up. And my kids are ready for me to be off this video. So, make, make you a cute little, um, Hold on just a second, sweetie. Okay, make, make you a cute little um, sticker to put on here so that you know what it is and you don't think it's your spray everything spray and you spray it all over your body or your, that would be okay, but make you a cute sticker. It's gonna, this is gonna last you almost all summer if you make it in this big thing because it's, it's just, it's a bigger um, amount of it and I, I just love this, this recipe. So I wanted to share it with you today. I'm gonna put it um, in the comments so that you make sure that you have it. You can save it to your phone or whatever, but. Um, tag me if you make this recipe. I would love to see you um, with your little DIY recipe. And DIY doesn't have to be hard. It's really easy to make this recipe, as you can see. So I look forward to a uh, summer with less bug bites and um, uh, a little bit more of a non-toxic summer, if you will. All right, see you guys later.